Hello there. In the previous video, we built a counter application similar to this one using qubit, where we press on floating button and it increment the number. In this video, we are going to have like a little bit complex state and which we will be handling. So let's go to the counter qubit. If you have seen my previous video, we were having something like this. So we were having integer as state, but in real world, uh, we will not have this much of simple state. We will have to hold more data, more than a uh, like a single data type, like integer or string. So how can we do that? So for that, we will create a class because a class can hold more than one state. So let's create a class called counter state. And here we will uh, create a class called uh, counter state and this is going to be used instead of integer so earlier this class was holding a state of integer now this class will hold the state of this counter state so this is integer like the super is initialized with integer the parent class now the parent class needs to be initialized with counter state object because like integer cannot be used to like initialize a counter state so how can we do that so for that what we will do we will come here and make a constructor and this will use to initialize the counter state so now you see the state variable value is counter state and we cannot like uh, add a instance and a number so it's like invalid operation so what we are doing is like totally wrong so how can we fix it so suppose that if we want to build a counter application using like uh, counter state or a class instead of having directly integer which we built in previous video so what we will do we will uh, define a data member called counter state and inside this what i am going to do I will define like a named parameter called count state and the default value as zero. So it's totally up to you if you want it to have default value or not. If you don't want, you need to initialize the value from super. Okay, so now here uh, we need to instead of updated value, we need to do updated state because now we are updating the state. So now by only updating the value, it will not work. Okay, so updated state. So how can we update the state so in order to update the state we need to make a new object of counter state and if you remember the counter state takes a count so let's create the count okay so now uh, we have not defined the count yet so the count is going to be in the previous value plus one because it's increment so the previous value can be fetched using state the current state dot count so it will give me the previous value and I will say plus one so I got the previous value I can add it and once I got the previous value using that I created a new state so this is a new object and now this counter qubit will hold the object of uh, the counter state which is the new state now I like subtract one it becomes the dec decrement and that's it if we want to have something more instead of like integer uh, or some product information some user information we can keep them there moving forward to the home page now we don't have this int anymore because earlier we were having int as the state now we don't have int as the state we have counter state as the state so let let's paste it and let's import it so once you do that the issue is fixed now so now if i bring my cursor to the state i will find that it says counter state so now it's not an integer anymore so let's uh, refresh this uh, and let's i think it's a wrong error let's restart it again yeah so now you see it says instance of counter state so it's a like object if i do plus one nothing really happens and the reason is because if I print any object, it will look something like this. So what can I do here? So I can go to the like counter state. Okay. And in the counter state, uh, there is a data member, which is count. So I will say state dot count. So it will give me the 
count of that state and that's it that's really it is and it's working so thank you if you face any problem let me know see you in next video